guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Jess and I love doing DIY making clothes in a seemly but free way in today's video I'm going to share with you how I make my purposely password dress I got the idea to make this dress when I were looking for a project to use my leftover fabric from the previous projects and this is the most colorful dress that I ever made. It's also a fun and creative project and you will have chance to play around, mix and match the different types of fabric together. So I hope you will like it and try it out. And let's get started. Here's a look of the dress that I want to make. I divide it into four smaller parts. Each part will be a different type of fabric that I have. After that, I work on the measurement for each part before sewing. And here are the measurements for all of them after on. Doing this part will help you know how many fabric you need for them and also make sure they will fit your body size. I started making the sleeve first. I cut a rectangle with 35cm length, which is the length of the sleeve that I want, plus 3cm for seam allowance, and 80cm width, which is 4 times the width from the shoulder to the middle of my bread. I fold the rectangle in half by the width line first. At the end of the folding rectangle, I mark the inside 16cm on the land line, which is 1 by 6 my bust side plus 3cm. From one end of the folding line, I mark down 35cm, which is a half the width at the end of the sleeve that I want, plus 1cm for seam allowance. Then connect this mark to the one I just made before that. Based on it, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the underambic line of the sleeve. After cutting, I finish the end of the sleeve by folding the end fabric inside two times with a half centimeter each time and sewing. From the end of the sleeve, I draw a horizontal line 9 cm under it. It will be the position for the elastic band at the end of the sleeve. Then I cut a long rectangle with 3cm width to add there to create a fabric hole there later. 3cm is 3 times the width of the elastic pen I will use. After making the first seam, I fold the other side of the rectangle inside over the first seam then I fold the end fabric inside around a half centimeter to hide on the end fabric inside the fabric hole, using the iron to keep my folding and sewing. I cut an elastic band with 1 cm width and 24 cm length, which is 2 cm longer than the width of my arm. After putting the elastic pen through the fabric hole, so to end up it to the fabric to keep them from moving. Then connect two underambic lines together. Moving to the side part of the dress, I cut a big rectangle with 42cm length, which is the length from the ambic to above my knee, blood 2cm for seam allowance, and 80cm width, which is my bust side, blood 2cm for seam allowance. At the top of the rectangle, I make a loose seam fit. Then I create a gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be 28cm, which is 2 times the width at the end of the sleeve, minus 4cm. 
To make the ruffle at the end of the side part, I cut a long rectangle with 22 cm length, which is the length of the thread that I want, minus the length of the side part plus 2 cm for seam allowance, and 120 cm width, which is 1.5 times the width at the side part I just made before. On one width line, I make a loose seam first, then I create the gathering fabric then later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be 80 cm, which is the same width at the top of the side part, so you can connect them together later. After finishing the side part, I connect the top of the side part to the end of the sleeve. Make sure you put two ends of the gathering fabric at the top of the side part inside 2 cm compared with the end of the sleeve. And here's the side of the dress, making one more piece like this. To make the center part of the dress, I cut a long rectangle with 22 cm width, which is the width between two inside shoulders, plus 2 cm for seam allowance, and 76 cm length, which is the length from above my breast to my knee, plus 3 cm for seam allowance. It's also the length of the dress that I want. At the top of the center part, I draw a horizontal line at 4 cm under the top line. After that, I fold the end fabric inside around a half centimeter foot, then keep folding it to the line just real before and sewing. Making two pieces for the center part at the front and the back of the dress. Now I'm connecting the center part to two sides of the dress connecting them from the end of the dress up to the top. When it's come to the sleeve, just keep going straight. So the connecting part of the sleeve there will be bigger than the center part, doing the same for the front and the back of the dress. After sewing, I finished the top of the sleeve by folding the end fabric inside around a half centimeter foot, then keep folding it again to create the fabric hole there. Make sure the width of the fabric hole is bigger than the width of the elastic band you will use. I cut an elastic pen with 1 cm width and 30 cm length, which is the length from above my breast over my shoulder to the back, plus 2 cm for seam allowance. After putting the elastic pen to the fabric hole, so to end up it to the fabric to keep them from moving. The last step is finishing the end of the dress. I fold the end fabric inside two times with one centimeter each time and sewing. So 
and I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is the most colorful dress that I ever made. It's so pretty and special. I hope you like it and check it out. See you next week.